I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black men, white, we all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We all want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there is a room for everyone, and the earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in machinery. That gives abundance, has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and internet have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in man, cries out for the universal brotherhood, for the unity of all. Even now my voice is reaching millions. Throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women and little children. Victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say do not disappear. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die and the power they took from people will return to people. Soldiers, don't give yourself to brutes. Men who despise you and enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do and what to think and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you as cattle, as cannon fodder. Don't give yourself to these unnatural men, machine men and with machine minds and machine hearts. Don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty.